Hi there, I'm Michael Giblin with FiddlerShop.com and this is a tutorial on the third violin part for the Wexford Carol, our 2022 group project. All right, so I'm gonna play it for you and then talk through some of the important things to keep in mind when preparing the part. to keep in mind is before we play any notes uh, we want to tune to 440 so that's just, just we're all on the same page because we're, we're also gonna have a lot of open D strings in this part so we want to make sure that our D is nice and in tune and we're gonna try to film this always in landscape if you're filming this on your phone that's like this not like this so try to and try to have your we want to see your face and your instrument kind of in the frame Try not to just be like only forehead or like, or like, or like, or like down here or something. <laughs> um, so, uh, or don't be too far away, right? So just uh, that helps us all out, helps it look uniform. You're welcome to dress up in your nice festive colors if you want. And sorry, I didn't dress up today. Um, but, so yeah, film and landscape, so this, this part is a little tricky because obviously we don't quite have the melody, but we still want to like assist the melody and support the melody. And so we want to really observe the dynamics and these phrases. And it's a very long phrase to begin with. This it's a four it's really four measures of da di da 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 di da 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 di da da can't sing the whole phrase. And then there's a big breath, and then it comes back. So really, um, don't, don't, just, um, don't just fall into the trap of listening to that click track, just hammer away. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very beautiful, um, spacious uh, carol. And so uh, we want to do that by kind of growing through these quarter notes. Grow. Keep growing. That's the the height of the phrase. This measure three, and then come back, and then we can sort of let it really sort of taper off here. The dee da da, and then this pickup is the start of the new phrase. Da da da. So it can start with a little more. So that, it, that's, okay, a new phrase. 
Something a little bit just keep keep an eye out for is it does go back and forth between F sharp and F natural. Most of the time, uh, we're getting started here, measure two, we have F sharp. So we want that really close together, that third and second finger. Really get that F sharp as high as you can. Mostly just because we really want the distinction from then when it comes back to its, uh, we're gonna have an F natural like in measure nine. Um, Um, so we don't want any clashes, we don't want any sort of accidentally playing F natural when it should be an F sharp. So just keep, an, keep a close, keep a keen eye out for that. Um, measures 9, 10, and 11 are gonna sort of be the trickiest measures, so I would actually make sure you have, you leave yourself enough time to really look at those measures. And also the rhythm changes in 11. We're usually always used to playing B, da, da, D, da. And here we have a fat quarter note on beat one, which is we're not used to playing that. One, two, and. So really just, woo, I don't know, put, put yourself a little uh, squiggle or a circle or some eyeglasses or something. Uh, just really look at measure 11, that the rhythm is different in that measure from every other time. And then, yeah, so measure 9, I'll play that. One. It feels funny. I, I don't, I don't want to believe that that's, how, that's right, but that is that one. So, if you're having trouble rhythmically with this, I would always recommend put your instrument down for a second and either sing or clap. Try to, I, sometimes it's nice to tap the beat and speak of the rhythms. This is measure nine. It goes be da be da ba be ba 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 be ba ba. So that's, if you can, if you can speak it, if you can sing it, you have to sort of be able to, to hear it here first before your hands will just do it because things only get more complicated when you start adding the finger and bows. So um, focus on those two. Those are the, the most important measures. Uh, or the, the trickiest, they're not necessarily the most important. Every, every measure is important. I do, it doesn't really matter if you play open D or if, if you play open strings or if you cover them um, like with fourth finger. Sometimes I do both. Sometimes it makes sense, like, and the uh, measure, measure 11. It's sort of nice to finish that phrase with, with the fourth finger. But then you can switch to open D. Open D is still a pleasant sound. It's not like, an open E sometimes that really blares at you. Open D is a, it's a nice sound. Uh, so don't, don't feel bad about playing open D. I think that's it. When you get to the last measure, we're just gonna sort of taper this last measure off and it's okay if it sort of trails a little over the bar line. If you play it a little longer than two beats, that's okay. Um, one, two, but I mean not a, a lot, a lot, but it's okay if the click track is very unforgiving. And so it's nice if we have just a little bit of a, ah, oh, that wasn't that beautiful ending. And then in the recording, leave yourself a little bit of space so that the video doesn't just <coughs> cut off right at the end of two beats. If you've got a little bit of space, you can, you can do, I don't know, do your best, sorry. You can do your best uh, rainbow, rainbow bow or um, wave or something. You can, you can have fun there. So uh, I hope all that was helpful. Thanks so much for taking part in this. I believe Monday, December 5th is the deadline to film and upload it to Dropbox. There's the Dropbox links is, is on the page at fiddlerman.com. I'll have a link for that in the description box as well. But good luck, happy practicing, and thanks for taking part in our group project.